In this video, the 12th in the Getting Started series, we will learn about the data panel and learn some additional functionality such as team hubs, projects, public links, collaboration, the home icon, and creating folders. In Fusion, the data panel enables you to view your projects and designs. You can display or hide the data panel at any time by clicking the data panel icon next to the file menu. At the top of the data panel, you'll find the Active Team Hub, which serves as a central location for your team to collaborate on designs and projects. Think of a Team Hub as a high-level organizational name, such as NASA. Beneath this Team Hub, you'll find various projects, like the Mars Rover Project or the Hubble Telescope Project. Within each project, individual parts and assemblies, such as the wheel assembly or an upper arm component, are stored. Team hubs are particularly beneficial for teams of designers who are working on the same project or managing multiple projects simultaneously. Refer to Exhibit 1. The other option you have is the People tab in the Data Panel. This is useful if you want to invite certain people into certain projects and not have them have access to the whole team hub. Clicking on the People tab allows you to manage members in the project you are currently in. It will bring up a web browser and you can enter in the email address of the person or people that you want to add to just that project. Refer to Exhibit 2. If you want to just share a single design with someone, you can create a shared link. This brings up a dialog that creates a custom link that you can copy and share with your customer. There are also options to allow them to download the model in multiple different formats and to also require an additional password to be able to open the link. Refer to Exhibit 3. The shareable link offers a significant advantage. Your customer doesn't need to install any software to view the design, as it's entirely web browser based. This allows them to pan, zoom, and orbit the model, take measurements, and even add comments. In Fusion, these markups are visible in the comments section or in the web details, which will be discussed later. Refer to Exhibit 4. You can change some settings options in the data panel by clicking on the gear icon. This menu allows you to sort the files by alphabetical name or last updated. You can also view the files in a list mode or in a grid mode which shows larger thumbnails of the models. The Open on Web icon allows you to access and manage your project data efficiently within a web browser. This centralized hub enables actions such as selecting and managing multiple files simultaneously, including moving, copying, exporting, or deleting them. For instance, clicking on the Fishing Reel Assembly reveals all associated design references. Further investigation, by clicking on the spool, shows its use in the fishing reel assembly and displays customer comments received via shared links. A more detailed view of these markups and comments can be accessed by clicking the View and Manage Comments button. Refer to Exhibit 5. Let's go back into Fusion and explore the Home icon. This is a more graphical representation of your files and gives you some powerful search capabilities. On the left, you will notice it's currently displaying your recent designs. Click on the Projects tab on the left, then on Default Project under the Projects section. In the search field, type in Wire and press Enter. The results will show the original fishing reel design we started with and the fishing reel assembly 
we recently created since both of them have a component in them with the word wire in their name. Refer to Exhibit 6. To locate the spool, clear the current search and perform a new search for spool. Click the three dots next to the spool's name and select Show in Location. Fusion will then open the project containing the spool. Finally, click on the spool to open it in a new tab. Refer to Exhibit 7. You can also organize your project by creating folders. In the Data panel, click on New Folder and name it Handle Parts. Right-click on the Handle Start file and select Move. Select the Handle Parts folder from the dialog and then click on the Move button. Repeat this process for the Handle Grip file. Create another folder and name it Bail Parts. This time, hold down your control key and select the bail arms, spool, bail, and tensioner. Then right click and select Move. Choose the bail parts folder and complete the move. All of the files will move into the folder at the same time. It is a good idea to keep your projects as organized as possible to help simplify your design process. Refer to Exhibit 8. In the next video, we will learn about inspecting our design.